survival stars. Um, I have grow, aged up my babies. Um, this is my diary. This is my Twilight. Um, Dina Dugan. Davina. The Ripper. Janelle. Hawaiian Goddess. Vampire Slayer. My eyes act aggravate me. <laughs> oh, something got in it. Uh, Ludacris, I, I, he was system of a, of a down, but I decided to, to change it. Um, and there's Devil's Secret. Um, they're my new ones. Um, yeah, I'm gonna probably be getting rid of a few of them. Um, Hawaiian Goddess, I want to keep her. But we'll see. Um, we'll see what happens. <laughs> I haven't made up my mind yet. So, let me collect the money real quick. My money is starting to grow up, grow again. <laughs> um, No, I don't want to sell a horse right now. Um, actually, we are, we will. Um, no, I don't want to sell one of them too. We'll go ahead and sell Davina. Since I got two five horses right now, anyway. I really don't want to get rid of Vampire Twilight. That will free up if I want to breed somebody because I want to get another five horse anyway, or a six horse. I mean, oh, I do want to add one more of those. Um, so I'm not gonna worry about doing that right now, I'll do it later. I don't want to make you guys have to watch this a dumb video. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go into racing and let's see. Actually, I want to drop down a little bit because I want to test my two little, my two bolts. Okay, that, there, there's Ludacris. Doesn't he look cute? I love him. <laughs> so I, w I was okay with getting rid of Delina because I got him. He is so cute. I love his looks. He's like a buckskin, I guess. I'm assuming. You see between a buckskin and a palomino color. Okay. There, there's Devil's Secret. He's just a plain old bay. <laughs> but he's still cute. I'll probably keep him and wait till I breed him. Okay. We're gonna go with... Where did Chris? I just like him. So we're gonna take him on. I really like this horse. Out of both them horses, Devil Secret will probably leave before he will. I like Ludacris. He's one of my favorites. No copyright intended. Um, I'm a music star. I, I, I love Ludacris, so um, he was played in uh, Fast and Furious a few times. And he's really funny. I really like We're him. underway here at Three Oaks. Number two is off to a good start. Also running well is Party Venture. Number two maintaining the lead. Traveling underneath horses is Party Venture. Next it's Tax Bray's Cannon. Heads up and down with Event Alibi. Then as the race moves on, it's number two. Party Venture in second place. Then Event Alibi. The game the is that, the is fighting. Catchphrase Adam, next. Takes away his three. Number two, keeping the lead spot. Yeah. Hart Venture in second position. One length behind, it's Event Alibi. Number two, leads the race. Hart Venture in second, and then it's Event Alibi. The dandy asterisk breathing down their neck. At the top of the straight, it's number two. Hart Venture wants the front. Just has a margin over Event Alibi. Number two has bolted home to walk in. Hart Venture in 
I'm kind of laying low on um, Equestrad um, because um, they ha the update has been finalized. It's just a matter of waiting for Google Play and whatever to release it. So it's a matter. It's a waiting game, <laughs> and nobody knows for sure exactly what's going to be on there. Other than they're supposed to be fixing some stuff, and so I'm hanging tight right now. Um, I don't have any tack, so it's okay because I can earn it. So we'll go ahead and I'm not breeding anybody right now because it's too hard. Because sometimes I can't be on this game like 24 7 and like he lost his bonus because. Um, I fed him before I went to bed, and then when I woke up, he was way down. <laughs> it's like, I can't stay up 24-7, I mean. <laughs> and I'm not going to waste my money on hiring the, 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 whatever, the, the caretakers. There's no point in that, so. Okay. We're going to go ahead and... going. Devil Seeker I probably won't keep very long, but because his speed is down, uh, she's got okay stats, it's just, um, I'd rather have speed be up there than I don't know It's race on here at three oaks. Number four breaks the lead. Celestial Cafe is fast on the inside. The race continues with number four. Celestial Cafe, scraping the paint off the rails. Dozing Dreamer, up against them. On their back is Serpent's you, you Voice. Doodle Do, trying to outdo them. Oh, Number four, still in first place. Celestial Cafe, in second spot from Serpent's Invoice. Closely followed by Dozing Dreamer. Number four, setting the pace. Celestial Cafe, in second position, followed by Serpent's Invoice. A length behind, it's Dozing Dreamer. At the 250 marker, it's number four. Celestial Cafe in second spot. Two lengths away, it's Serpent's Invoice. In the straight, it's number four. Celestial Cafe in second place. Number four, Pat Bolton in. Celestial Cafe in second place. <laughs> Serpent's Invoice. I'm not going to be buying any more horses. <sighs> I say that and then I buy one and I'm like, oh, okay, I want this one. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're like potato chips. You can't just have one. <laughs> yeah, they're just like potato chips. You, get, you have one. You, there's no way you can just eat one. <laughs> he is cute, though. Decided to make me some soup for lunch. Yeah, see how his stats are. Uh, let's see if I can put him back up again. Um, he's 51 on acceleration and 50 on speed and um, sprint. And I would have liked prefer him to have the 51 on speed, but. That's just how he came out, so I won't keep him real long. I'll, I'll breed him, but just to get a full out of him, but but it won't be anytime soon. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this one off. 
and then we'll, we'll jump to one of the higher races. I just wanted to get some of the younger ones out. These guys have all been racing pretty well. We'll, we'll go ahead and ride in the Chanel. I only hire the jockeys if I'm just too tired to want to race. <laughs> but I get better results most of the time if I do it compared to them. Because it's just a computer and all they're running. <laughs> Number four shows great natural pace. Champion Commander going with them on the inside. Number four in control. Skeptical Sandwich in second. Limpid La putting on the pressure. And then it's Tectonic Sensation. Jingle Princess in seventh position. Trying to beat back Peculiar Mist. Continuing around the track, it's number four. Champion Commander getting moving. Get strong, pushing past horses. The race continues with number four. Limpid Lark in second position. Toe to toe with champion commander. In the stretch, it's number four. Limpid Lark in second, disputing with champion commander. As they straighten for home, it's number four. Limpid Lark wants the front. win from number four, Limpid Lark, second, champion commander, gets the third place. Yeah, it's a good thing I did, because I needed to get the basic acceleration like up. Sometimes I, I just do the races just to get the stuff, the supplies up. I'm not in no hurry to get ahead. So what's the thing I like about this game is you can pick it as you go, you know. You can race wherever you want to. You don't really have to follow everybody else. Which I never know. <laughs> We're gonna test something though. Um, nope. I don't think anybody would qualify for that. Hers is uh, pretty good. Uh, let's see. The Ripper's gonna be really decent. I'm gonna wait till he's maxed out though. All these will be able to run in this. So, we're gonna go ahead and give her a try. You know what, I'm gonna go with her. I haven't raced in this in a while, so. I gotta stir my soup. the start at Yarra Park. All eyes will be on the favorite, Low Haven. Vampire Twilight, only with an outside chance today. <laughs> only with that outside chance. I don't care if I don't win. I'm just trying to get points up. Gate Spring, Ace Dinner, shows great speed. The favorite gets a four star. Still going, it's Money Baronet. Invisible incidents. Watch the front. A length away. It's low haven. Confused Cactus in fifth place. Just behind it's Archaic Act. Vampire Twilight building up stamina. Officials feature breathing down their necks. Archaic Act leading the field. Ace Dinner in second place. Pushing hard in front of Invisible Incidents. Next it's Funny Baronet. Just in front of Pickle Pink. A length behind it's Low Haven. Practical Princess in ninth. Uh, Vampire Twilight pressuring really just behind. Pounding down the course, it's Invisible Incidents. Just has a margin over Archaic Act. Bunny Baronet in fourth. Then yeah, Pickle Pink. You know, uh, Vampire Twilight uh, moving forward now. Just ahead of Practical Princess. Ace Dinner for the head of affairs. Archaic Act in second spot. 
going hammer and tongs with invisible incidents. Low haven in sixth really spot. Vampire Twilight next. At the half mile, it's ace dinner. Archaic act in second position. Head and head with invisible incidents. Low haven in sixth. On their back is Vampire Twilight. Archaic act showing the way. Invisible incidents in second spot. Low Haven in sixth position, well ahead of Vampire Twilight. Continuing around the track, it's Archaic Act. Invisible incidents in second place. Low Haven in sixth spot, four legs behind, it's Vampire Twilight. Archaic Act piloting the field, then Ace Inner. Low Haven in sixth place, three legs behind, it's Vampire Twilight. They run for the money, it's Invisible Incidents, Low Haven, in six. Oh, wow. I even had a bad start. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go. Wait, what is the other one? Oh, sorry, I keep yawning. Oh. Okay, demons be gone. Um, we got Hawaiian goddess. We'll, we'll go ahead and go with him. See, I'm not, I'm not too worried about whether or not I win on it, because it's just time trials. It's not like it's an actual race. <laughs> and once I get better at it and get better horses, then I'll start doing better on it anyway. And they're racing. A great start for the favorite. Lazy Despair. Lazy Despair. Also up the front. Then as the race moves on, it's uh, King Last. Lazy Despair in second. Heart of first contending for position. A length away, it's Altergeist like Princess. Trying to brush off Journey Truffle from Divine Pain. Number six seems to be in a good position. Lazy Despair showing the way. Absolute sights with a brilliant turn of foot. Trying to fight with them. He passed up in third position, putting up a challenge to insistent Butler. Neck and neck with Heart of Curse. Number six still trailing. The race continues with absolute sights. Lazy Despair wants the front, putting in a strong bid with Pink Parson, Heart of Curse in fourth place, followed by insistent Butler, toe to toe with Journey Truffle. On the inside, it's number six, and then it's Flames Fight. Absolute sights, still outrunning the rest. Pete Parson in second place. Lazy Despair in third spot. Two lengths away. Not it's totally Heart of Curse. Yet either, so number six I, I in that position. Long. Just behind, it's Flames Fight. At the 700 pole, it's Absolute Sights. Pete Parson in second position. On their back is Heart of Curse. Just Maybe ahead of Lazy thing. Despair. Number six, traveling on the fence. Still going, it's absolute sight. Pete Pastor in second from Lazy Despair. Poltergeist Princess in ninth spot. Away with a huge margin from number six. Absolute sight holding the lead. Pete Pastor wants the front. Two lengths behind, it's Lazy Despair. Number six, being ridden well. One length away, it's Flames Fight. <laughs> it's because his speed ain't there. <laughs> he's not. He's not even ready for this race at all. <laughs> oh. I gotta get him more training. All right, I'm out of points. All right, I'm gonna leave it at this, and I will be back on later today. Thank you for watching.